June 6, Thursday Thursday of the seventh week of Easter A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed saying, I pray not only for this, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one, I in them and you in me that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them even as you love me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see me glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known, that the love with which you love me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord That they may all be one. Jesus intercedes to the Father for all future believers. He foresees that many, coming from diverse socio-cultural backgrounds and with different temperaments and interests will be added to the original number of disciples. Jesus anticipates how the ranks of future believers can suffer division. Jesus prays for the unity of all believers who will be attacked by enemies of the Christian faith. This unity participates and shares in the divine life of the Trinity, persons different and distinct, yet united as one God. They are to possess courage under fire and cannot afford dissension in the ranks lest they fall and be scattered by their enemies. If they can present themselves as one united front marching under the banner of Jesus Christ, the world will acknowledge Jesus as the Savior of the world.